By Yemeni, we are back in Norwich, back solid, bare bones broadcasting. I speak to you as the king of the Jews right now. I care more about my reputation as a people. I want to be welcomed everywhere. What good is having my own property when everyone hates my guts for how stupid I am about demanding it? And what my God, what everybody's God claims about me? You realize that Iran was dumb. There's too many people who don't like Iran blowing around nuclear weapons on their doorstep. I don't care how much they hate Israel. They don't want Iran attacking them with nuclear weapons. Know that. Iran knows that. Without any nuclear weapons, if Iran had millions of nuclear weapons, I was attacking the whole planet with nuclear weapons, the planet could easily defeat Iran with just stomps of feet. Let alone conventional weapons, Iran is defeatable and always will be by everybody else, especially the ones neighboring it. Where the U.S. and England ought to shut up. You are too far away from the subject. Period. Do you understand me? And remember, this nation, no one speaks for the United States. No one. Too many branches of government. The paper called the United States said, the U.S. said, who said? I'm a staff member. I have a grand attic little puppet, 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 puppet. And we had a committee meeting and I was sent to speech. Baloney! <laughs> no one speaks for the United States. One thing speaks for this nation, every flap of the flag. The only spokesman that a country has. Got it? Hear the flag of flapping? That's the speech. I oh, like it. Everyone else is just an aspect of governing here. Bah. You know, all of your thieves speaking. No, no one is even benevolent enough to represent any piece of property you represent. All any of you. You're not benevolent enough to fight. I'm going to take up for, yeah, you're a hypocrite. I'm going to take, you're another hypocrite. I'm going to take, and who ain't a hypocrite taking up for? Hey. An opportunist selling for another opportunist. Opportunist selling for another opportunist. Strutting and a strutting and a strutting. I call my people Israel. Bunk. Tell them. You are backed up and prayed. You overhear the Lord talking up to you, telling you you're priceless. Tell them. That ain't how priceless behaves. What's priceless here? Everything about it! What's more priceless? Those yet to come. Make all these names and titles and stomps going on around here. Absolutely vagrant! When you look at how many have to come and live in it. Already built in DNA. Can't get out of it now. Science has taken every cast of your creator and jammed it right down your throat! And you ain't a living up! Planet! What about? You ain't living up this much of your history. You're whining over this much of your history. That doesn't remember this much of your history. Do you understand me? Move. You just keep that well in mind about Iran and Israel. Iran. I mean, it's just like Clint Eastwood. Make my day. You know what? You know the scene? He was wanting him. They blown his head off. I hope the lady gets killed. So what? <laughs> I like Harry. Harry gets to it. And I don't mind, you know. Harry, if he shoots me, get him. <laughs> I'm the king of the Jews, Harry. If he shoots me, you get him. <laughs> Go ahead. Make his day. I wish he would have said that. Yeah, make his day. <laughs> That's what it really would make that scene, don't you think? He would have said, make my day. She would have said, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> no one would start falling, adding, and finishing the script, you know. I'm already on talk show host. My job, finish the script. Come on in, call me. Tell me what you think. I'm Barry Bones, broadcasting. This is, uh,